In this box is a luxury handbag that I got for an absolute steal. You won't believe the discount I got, what it originally cost, what I paid, and it's brand new guys. It's not very loved and it's from a very well-known European handbag brand. So stay tuned to find out what it is and hear about this spectacular deal. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. This bag arrived while I was out of town and I'm very anxious to open it up and check it out because I've never seen a bag from this brand in person even though they're very well known a lot of people I know have them and I've heard wonderful things about them and the deal on this bag OMG. It was so good that I shared it with you guys in a community post. They sold out pretty quickly. In fact I had ordered two in different colors and the other one sold out before they were able to ship it to me so they canceled that order which I'm really bummed about but two of my friends here on YouTube, Dawn of Dawn Loves Couture and Jamie of James Jam, they both picked one up too. So we've decided to collaborate on our unboxings today. They got different colors than I got and I think at least one of them got a different size. So I will have their videos linked below so you can check them out as soon as you're done watching this video and get a little more information on the variety that's available. Even though they sold out on the site that had this great deal, and I'll tell you all about that, you can still find these bags online. Whatever I can find, I will link in the description box for you. Now I'm ready to get right into this. And it's a fabulous color. This is definitely not a neutral. The site, that I got this on was a third party site. It's called Shop Premium Outlets. So if you know about the premium outlets here in the States, a lot of us have those near us in big cities and you very well may have been to one. I just recently, a few months ago, found out that they have a website that kind of connects all of the stores called Shop Premium Outlets. I will have that linked below. I have found quite a few incredible deals and that's where we got this one. And there have been things on this site that I didn't even know that they carried these brands or the deals are just unbelievable. And as you can see, this is from Mulberry. And according to the address label, it shipped directly from Mulberry and not from an outlet, unless it shipped from, maybe it shipped from the Mulberry outlet. I don't know how it works. But they sent a shopping bag, which is amazing. Who does that? And then inside of oh, this may give me more information. It has the packing slip. Let me take a peek at this. Yeah, it just says it's from the Simon Premium Outlets and sold and fulfilled by Mulberry. So that's why I got such a great deal on this brand new bag because it's from an outlet. It is not an outlet bag though. This is a boutique bag that was sent to the outlet. Ooh, and I just got a little bit of a peek at something. So here is the dust bag. This is really nice. I know some of us care about dust bags and some don't. This is that same kind of design that Hermes uses in their dust bags. And it's a really nice thick material with fabric drawstrings. This is how dust bags should be done, particularly from luxury brands. So Mulberry, you may know, is out of England. And then it has this message on the back. This care bag has been made with sustainably sourced cotton. The pull cord has been crafted with 100% recycled materials. So that's very nice. And it's really soft on the inside, like fleece. The bag is wrapped in tissue paper, so I'm gonna take that off. And by the way, this bag, the style of it, reminds me of a bag from Louis Vuitton. So I'll tell you about that in a minute too. Now, one of the things you'll need to pay attention to if you're shopping, the premium outlets online is the return policy. If you're buying something that you're not sure about, and honestly, I'm not sure about this. I've never seen it in person. I've never seen anything from this brand, so we'll see. But I have purchased things before that were final sale. This was not, this is returnable if I want it to be, but just pay attention to that. Also, when I purchased the thing that was final sale, they had this return insurance sort of thing. Have y'all heard about these yet? Oh my God, this is wild. Okay, I've got it back in the dust bag. 
So they have this return insurance thing where you pay extra if you're buying something that's final sale. May not be just final sale. I guess it would be because otherwise you can just return it. So the final sale things, you pay extra and the amount you pay depends on the amount you're spending. When you get that, it allows you to return the bag. It's like a, a fee for being able to return it, but it takes several weeks for all that to process because it's through a third party and you'd be sending the item to a third party not just back to the outlets, if that makes sense. Oh, I've got to reveal this to you. <laughs> this thing is so fun. Okay, how do I pick this up? I guess I'll just grab it from the top. It doesn't have a strap on it right now. OMG, look at that color, oh my gosh. This is the Mulberry Little Softy. So this is one of the smaller sizes. It's like they have some regular sizes. They had the little and then the bigger one that has a little top handle on it. And then they also had tinier ones. But in this sale, they just had this size and then the top handle size. So the Little Softy from Mulberry, the color is lawn green. And seeing it on the camera, it looks a little brighter than in person, although it's quite bright in person. And the color on the camera reminds me a lot of Dale's Addiction's Birkin in the comic green from Hermes. This is wild though. That's amazing. This one comes with silver hardware. They do have some bags that have gold. I mean, look at it from the side. It reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Cousin, right? And you'll see it also has a giant chunky chain that gives it that look even more. Let's take a look at this. There's plastic on here. I'm not gonna take that off yet because I need to know more about the bag. That is so fun. So let's open this up. And it's all leather, by the way. They did, they did have some colors that were nylon. This is leather and it's very soft. It feels like lambskin. I think it may be lambskin. I'll have to look at the specs in a second. So you open that up and it's all leather in there too. And of course it is quite quilted and pillowy. That's why it's called the softy. Tissue paper here. And there's more plastic around that ring. There is more tissue paper inside. And then here, let me give you a better view. Here's the interior, there's paperwork. So here is the interior. It feels like a pretty small bag. It has this slip pocket here that has mulberry stamped in silver. And then this feels like maybe a wipeable nylon on and it feels kind of thick too. That's what the inside looks like. Let's look at what it came with. And is there plastic here? Yes, there's also plastic on that hardware. I do like this turn lock thing and I like that this bag has that because it's such classic mulberry and it has the little tree stamped on the front and it says mulberry there, two screws on the side, and then this is a turn lock. That turn lock has a hole in it. So if you had a lock that you wanted to put in there, you could. And it has these two D-rings on top. So we'll look at the chain in just a second too. I'll also do dimensions, what fits, mod shots, all the usual stuff. Dimensions on this bag. It is nine inches across the bottom, seven inches tall. And then, and then the depth, it's difficult because it's smushy and when you put things in it, it will expand. But empty like this, it's about three to four inches Deep. Let's look at the paperwork. There's this little card that says Mulberry England and on the back it says little softy bag, softy Napa. So that's Napa leather and the color is lawn green. In here, this little sleeve, it has this booklet. I'm assuming this is care instructions mulberry care policy and it says pillow napa it's made from soft and supple napa leather that's been filled with responsibly sourced feathers to create a cushioned pillow effect that was something that's cool too about it that it's feather filled due to the delicacy of napa the leather may scratch or mark if it comes into contact with rough services so be careful blah 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 uh, responsible leather we're committed to using the highest quality leather with the lowest possible impact on the planet find out more at mulberry.com and that's it. it has that information in several languages as well in the tissue that was inside the bag, we have the chain. And since they did have the return policy on these bags, there may be people returning them. So even though they're sold out, you may want to check because they could come back. They also have a tote bag in this pillow style. This chain is substantial. So here it is. And here are the clips. That reminds me of the Fendi clips, that O shape. So you just push on there to open it up. So here's the bag with the chain strap on it, but I'm gonna show you a trick. If you don't want the chain to be that long, you can shorten it. What you do is you take one end of the chain, feed it through the D-ring and attach it to the other D-ring so that both the clips are on one side and then you can wear it with the shorter chain. You can also pull it where that chain is sitting across the top and that makes it a little bit longer. So since we're talking about how to wear it, let me show you how to wear it. So first you can wear it as a clutch with the chain just like this and then carry it around like that or 
You could have it doubled up and put it on your shoulder like this. So here it is doubled up on my shoulder. And then if I adjust it where it's still attached on one side, the chain is running across the top. I could wear it like this as a shoulder bag. Let me see how that one works crossbody. Too short for me. But if I undo that chain from one side, pull it back out of the D-ring, so unthread it, and then do like this, that gives me the extra length that I had on the top. And that is a really nice crossbody length for me. It's a little higher than I would like it to be, but it works. If you wanted it even longer, you could detach this chain and get another crossbody chain in silver to attach there whatever length you want. And if you had a color that wasn't as difficult to match as this one, you could get a leather strap to go on your shoulder or crossbody. You could also get a short chain to do a little top handle or a leather or you could get some kind of patterned strap. That's what I love about bags that have completely removable straps, and that's why I think all bags should have completely removable straps, is so you can get more versatility out of your bag. This is so smushy. We definitely need to do a what fits on this, because when I bought this, there weren't that many videos on it. Now there are at least three more with Mind On and James Jams. But let's take a look at this, because the video that I had watched of this size prior to buying this, showed that you could fit a lot into it, surprisingly more than you would think, considering what a small bag it is. That's why I'm holding it up to my head, by the way, because sometimes when you compare a bag to the size of a human head, that also helps to give you a real sense of the size, because if you're holding it out like this, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. All right, let's see what fits. I also love with this flap that that just folds completely back. And you know, with things like the Coach Pillow Tabby, I know people were having issues with cracking at the seam here. I don't see that happening here. This is just so soft and smushy and pillowy. I don't think we're gonna have that issue. Plus there's no glazing. So let's look at what I usually carry. I have my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM, that fits. I have my Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin, although with the bag this size, I may switch to a card holder. Holder, and I think, let me grab a card holder. In fact, this, my Gucci Marmont in the green, seems like the right choice. They're very close to each other. So if you have this one, that gives you an idea of the color of the mulberry. The mulberry is slightly brighter, but they're very close. So let me take out my zippy coin and see if the card holder will fit in that slip pocket in the back. And it absolutely does. My phone, there are no outside pockets on this bag, so it's all gonna fit inside. My sunglasses are readers, which I don't usually carry, but we're trying to see what we can get in here. That's how we're doing so far. It's getting full. My keys, I have kind of a big set of keys there. I think those will fit over on the side, yep. And I have a hand sanitizer. Okay, we're pretty full there, so I'll just slip that right on top. And then can I close it? Now I will say that because this is so soft, that little thing that you're trying to get the opening over, the toggle, will tilt for you so you can make it happen. That's kind of a tight fit, but it's definitely not going to hurt the bag. So that's how it looks with all the stuff inside. There's how it looks from the side and then the back. Because it's so padded, you're certainly not getting any corners poking out of the bag. Now I will say with my stuff in here, the one thing I don't like is when you attach the chain, see this very well, it looks like it's pulling up on the little edges there, cause it is. It's not going to damage the bag. Well, I don't think it would. Actually, I'm not entirely sure cause it looks like there are threads on either side that are holding that together. It's also stitched in on the top there. So yeah, I don't think it would damage the bag, but it looks a little eh where it pulls the bag up. But there you go. That's how it looks. And I just realized I have not told you the retail cost on this bag and what I paid for it. Let's put the chain in the front because it's prettier with the chain in the front, isn't it? This bag in this size retailed for 1,700 something dollars. I got it at the outlets for $300. The larger size, and I, I had ordered a larger size in black with silver hardware and I'm so upset that that didn't come, but that larger size retailed for 2,200 something and they had had it for $340. So only $40 difference between the two sizes at the outlet price, but the retail price was about a $500 difference. So incredible deals. And that's why I shared it on my community post. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that so you don't miss future community posts because I post things just about every day that I find for you guys. You don't want to miss out. 
and that's how I alert you. I can't make a video that quickly, but I can do a community post. So let me know what you think of this bag. Let me know what you think of Mulberry if you have other bags from them. Let me know if you saw that community post and you were able to get one and which one you got and what you think of it. And also make sure you go watch these videos from Dawn Loves Couture and James Jam. Their videos will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you guys back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.